morning, guys. So uh, I finally did it. Um, I bashed my micro quad a little too many times. Look how flimsy it is. This thing's just shaking all over the place. Propellers start hitting it. There's something loose in there that's causing all of this. See that horizontal static? That wasn't there before. I'm gonna have to fix this issue right now. You're watching Drone Hacks. I heard that these can go a little longer range and these get a slightly better picture, but my goal is long range. So there's this piece right here, which is called the anode. That's the positive electrode. And this up here is the negative. And I guess the negative needs to go where this is and the positive needs to go down here in that little dot. And that's why this is gonna be tricky. All right, I guess I need to clean that up a little more. There was like a little piece hanging. So I'm just gonna grab it and melt it off. There. There, that's nice and clean now. Bad one's out. And dipole antenna in. I think first I'm gonna do that bottom one and then the top one. I'm just gonna dip it in a little bit of flux. I should probably get a little bit of solder on the tip so that there's contact. That would be smart, wouldn't it? Just a tip. Boom, that's it. That's all I need. Back in a little dab of solder and in. Ooh, perfect. Okay, little dab of solder on top. Boom, and then one on this side. Clean my tip. A little messy, but I think that did it. Man, I hope that works. It looks clean from the front, looks a little wadi from the back. Here, why don't I do this? I'll put a little flux on there and just clean the top up and make sure bottom's not touching. All right, and there we go. So this is the negative electrode on top, and then this tiny dot down here is the positive electrode and they're not touching each other. And the antenna seems to be fine. I could bend it backwards. Boom. <laughs> and I always get it to be nice and tinned like that before I shut it off. like it works <laughs> oh yeah I would say that works and that is why I love micro drones because fixes like that you can get creative spend nothing and have solutions that when I'm done with this, I just cut this and then put two new ones on. I don't have to be careful in taking them off and on. And I'm ready to go. 